The common challenge for universities, academic institutions, and professors can be managing their team's self-paced course content. So let's take a look at the use case of setting up and assigning the right content to your students' needs. Now, here we are in Hack the Box's enterprise platform. And the first thing you may want to do as a professor, if you haven't already, is invite your users. Now, you can go here to manage users, invite users, and either add members individually or use the CSV option by uploading a CSV document. What this is very helpful with is especially if you have a very large classroom, it becomes less time consuming. Let's go back into our dashboard and get started by setting up our academy space. Your academy space is going to be where your students are going to combine theory and practice through relevant course material. This is done by going down here to create new space. You can see we already have classroom one. So I'm going to create classroom two and assume that my students are, let's say, in the first semester. What we can see here is we have a private space. This means that only users that have assigned seats are going to be able to see this space. Let's keep it public for now. Right, so here we have our overview page. This is going to allow you to get an understanding of content progression and uh, user progress that you have. So you can either filter it by the content that your users are consuming or by uh, focusing on a particular user. At the same time, you have general completion activity, and you can also filter through difficulty or what categories are being covered, whether that's general or offensive and defensive material. So in order to add content to our lab, we're going to have to go up here to manage. If we click on manage, you can see here we have role paths, skills paths, modules, and playlists. Now, we're not going to focus so much on the role pass. However, this is relevant to teams that are looking to uh, focus on one particular domain, whether that's Bug Bounty Hunter, Penetration Tester, or SOC Analyst. And we also have skills paths. Now, for example, for a beginner team such as ours, what would be relevant would be perhaps either Operating System Fundamentals or Information Security Foundations. Information Security Foundations, for example, takes you through all the beginner hack the box fundamental material, as well as some relevant modules that will help your students get set up for practice through dedicated labs. Now, I will actually add this to our lab. So this is our first edition. And if we go higher up, we can see also that we have modules and playlists. Playlists is a way for you to create a custom path yourself. So collect different types of content that you require by going up to create playlist and adding only the relevant content that you require for your team. You can filter through the content, uh, also through Mitra Attack Framework. Now, speaking of Mitra, if I have one specific course that I'm looking to add for my team, what I can simply do is type in the Mitra code that is relevant, and this will load up all the relevant modules to this Mitra code. Specifically, this one is for active scanning. The reason we have selected active scanning is because we would like our students to become familiar with enumeration with Nmap in order to get started with dedicated labs with their first machines. Now, I'm going to add this as well to our lab. So if we go back to our space, we can see here that we have our information security foundations, as well as our enumeration with Nmap. Now coming back to our dashboard, we're going to look now into setting up our dedicated labs environment. So going into dedicated labs, you can see here we have an overview page that is similar to Hack the Box Academy. What we're going to do here is go instantly to manage just like we did before. And we're going to look at our machines, Sherlock's and challenges, as well as paths that are relevant for our team. Now, machines are primarily in the offensive domain. Sherlock's are investigative labs focusing primarily on SOC, digital forensics and incident response, while we have challenges that are primarily focused on both domains. If we go into paths, we can find our fundamentals one path. Now, this is a path that hosts all introductory machines within the dedicated labs. So this is a good start for our team of juniors to get started. So I'm going to add Fawn, Meow, and Explosion. However, if it's necessary, you can add all of them or remove all. Finally, going back into my lab, I may go into Settings and decide whether I want to enable Write-ups or Guided Mode. This is going to give my students an opportunity to go through the solutions as they work on the machines, challenges, or Sherlock's. 
or use guided mode, which will enable questions for them to have some guidance. Finally, if I want to get a better understanding of how my team is progressing, what I can do is go into reporting where I can see both dedicated labs reporting of machines, challenges, and Sherlock's, as well as Mitra attack framework mapped reporting for Academy. What I can also do is go into leaderboard. This is something that the students have access in to see who is leading. And this is also a great way to add a competitive edge to your team.